it. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Chilling with Bale. Hello. <laughs> I, I'm back with my good friend Diana. Hi. <laughs> we low key almost had to reschedule because Zoom was being a bitch. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Today's topics are uh, movie-based and toxic toxicity-based. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Two of my favorite subjects. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so to start us off, it is kind of a trending one. The hype based around Robert Pattinson's debut as Batman. <laughs> Batman. <laughs> I just have to point this out as someone who whose guilty pleasure is a couple of the Twilight films. <laughs> I was Team Edward <laughs> for a reason. <laughs> I have to say, yes, there is a typecast. With Robert Pattinson, mm -hmm. but if you can break out of the early two thousands <laughs> hype, mm -hmm. the man's a damn good actor. Mm. Yeah, I was gonna say like other than people focus him on Twilight movies, I'm like, nah, he's pretty good. Like um, in Water for Elephants, that one made me cry. Lighthouse was it, one. It, it was weird, but he was good in it. Mm-hmm. I still need to watch Tenet. I have oh, it yeah. saved on my watch list, but like I make I need to watch that still. So I'm excited for that one. Now the, the first question is, are you going to slash will you see the Batman? Yes. I wanna see it. Me too. Even if, even if it's bad, which please God, don't be bad. <laughs> it's a Batman movie. Please don't be bad. <laughs> yeah, uh, DC can't take it any more L's. Mm -mm. I, I want it to be good because Matt Reeves is a genius. Mm -hmm. I saw the trailers. Like I was doing my little research on the movie. Because I follow a bit more Marvel than DC, but like seeing the trailers now compared to the other ones, I'm like, I definitely feel like a different take on everything. Like the whole like story, I guess, yeah. on where they're going with this Batman. And I'm so excited that we're going to get a new villain in this because, yes, I love Joker also, but we're finally going to see someone else like Riddler. Yeah. So I, like, <laughs> as, and I, I saw the old, old Batman films with Jim Carrey as the Riddler. I can watch it, but I have to turn my brain off <laughs> and have like two two things of soju. <laughs> no, no hate to Jim Carrey. Love you. Mm. But I don't love that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I like, um, well, the more modern ones, like, so, like, The Dark Knight Rises mm -hmm. and all that stuff. But I do love, love, oh my god, I can't speak. I do love the Tim Burton one. Oh, yeah. The Catwoman, oh, that Catwoman. <laughs> I'm definitely going to see it, too. Just because some of the shots they've shown mm -hmm. in, like, the trailers and the pictures... I have to see it in theaters just to appreciate the cinematography. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I also wonder how um, Robert Pattinson's gonna play not just Batman, but Bruce Wayne himself. Yeah. Because, like, um, we'll say it with, like, George Clooney or, like, the other past Batman, he's, like, that playboy pie billionaire yeah. that you see, like, he's got the front, but, like, I've noticed with the trailer, this one, like, um, He's like very like to himself. Yeah, I. Think that he's playing the more like rageful side of Batman, mm -hmm. except it's kind of like toned down 
out of the suit and in the suit he will break your face mm -hmm. like that i feel like he actually has like a nerve mystery like what's going through his mind the one person that I was kind of shocked to see in this is mm -hmm. oh my god I forgot his name I was shocked to see <laughs> uh, when in doubt google out yep <laughs> professional guys basically I was surprised to see a person from Marvel in this film Gonna bring out Google too. <laughs> uh, Andy Circus. Yeah, I was surprised to see um, Andy Circus in uh, okay. in there, considering his big role in Marvel, and also mm -hmm. the fact that he did a great role as um, Gollum. Yeah, it just, yeah. He's uh, in the play Alfred, isn't he? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. He, he tormented my childhood as, oh. <laughs> as, as Gollum. My parents would say, if you don't, if you not the comportas, that's how you're going to end up in the future. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Meaning that if I don't pay attention or like follow their, their rules, I'm going to end up looking like Gollum. <laughs> Uh, the s second one is will Robert Pattinson be a good Batman? I I feel like I can't really from the trailers that I've seen. People are already gonna have a high expectation from previous Batman's, and then well, we'll just say with his more known role with Twilight before hell are gonna judge him. Oh, yeah. So I feel like it's gonna be hard for him to like. I know a lot of pressure. I feel like it's gonna be on him, but I think he's gonna do a good job from from what I've seen with the trailers. Me too. I think um, since he's being called the emo Batman, which I think <laughs> is kind of correct. Mm-hmm. I mean, the the dude is wearing eyeshadow for crying out loud. <laughs> yeah. He, he, he's, he's either the emo Batman or dark K-pop Batman. <laughs> now that is something I want to see. I would want to see that. <laughs> His whole fighting skills, whole choreography. <laughs> I also think... Uh, how cancelled do I want this to be on Twitter? <laughs> um, I think he might be a few notches above Ben Affleck. Ooh. That's that's me saying it because I've only seen a few of yeah. of his films, but I love you, Ben Affleck. But the writers, oh no, no, Warner nope. Brothers, Warner Brothers. Warner Brothers. That's another reason why I'm hyped for this film. Nothing t t to do with the whatever it is they're they're doing with the current DC stuff. Mm -hmm. And the big one that I've seen all over my timeline doesn't have to be rated R. I okay, so I was listening to different podcast and um one of the hosts were saying that DC is different from Marvel because they are a darker comic they do have more of a gruesome scene in them and that's why like I actually I was gonna do some research I was gonna watch um some sorry some Batman movies, but I just ended up watching Suicide Squad. Um, I watched the newer one because I haven't watched that one yet. So, um, 
there is a lot of gruesome scenes, and I'm oh, like, yeah. yeah, but this makes sense, and I don't see Marvel going in that direction, especially now since they're owned by Disney. So I'm like, I'm okay with Batman being rated R because I don't, I don't, I don't know how to say it. I'm like, not that it's not for kids, but the comics are very dark for a reason. And I'm oh, pretty yeah. sure like fans would want to see those certain scenes, want to see how it plays out and all that stuff. Yeah, my, I'm trying to look at it from like a sales perspective, mm -hmm. because with um, with the Venom films, neither of those are rated R, but they still did pretty well as PG-13. Mm -hmm. Mortal Kombat, which, if you know anything about the series, mm -hmm. the whole thing is about gore. Yep. Fatality. It did... It did a pretty good as PG-13. Mm -hmm. If they do this one as PG-13, which they are, if it does well, then if they do a sequel, they could go, okay, this this did well. And they could either top it as rated R and possibly make more, or just stay as PT-13 and make the same amount. Mm-hmm. Plus we have to we have to look at it as the pandemic and how many people are going to go and see a rated R film. Mm hmm And there is a lot you can get away with <laughs> as PG-13. Yeah. It's an, it's an old film, but The Mummy. <laughs> Taking eyes and and tongues, and it's a PG-13 film. Also, I feel like it's, um, again, I said it's an old one, like, times have changed, and like, right now, a PG-13 film from back then, if it were to come out now, I'm pretty sure it might have get a different rating, because of how, like, sensitive everyone is now with, like, like kids seeing certain scenes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, there's also that to consider. Is this one coming out as rated R or is it coming out as PG-13? I don't remember. PG-13. Oh. Um. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, we'll see how that comes out. <laughs> I'm I'm expecting an absolute shitstorm on Twitter. <laughs> Just because it's Twitter. Yeah. We'll see how many people will complain afterwards. <laughs> oh, I I'm expecting <laughs> a great deal. More like expecting like this should have been rated this or should have been rated that. Mm -hmm. Kids are coming to see it. I'm like, uh. <laughs> I I saw kids in theaters when I went to see um, Venom Two. Mm -hmm. And I, I I thought, like, no no spoilers for people who haven't seen it, but I'll maybe pick a different movie. <laughs> yeah, I forget what movie it was that. It made me laugh because people were like, oh, I thought this was like a, like for kids because it was rated this. So I'm like, no, like if you know the topic, like you, you shouldn't have let your kids watch it or something. I, I saw a person say that about, um, I think it was like it's one of the Joker movies or like, yeah, some, I don't remember. I think I saw the people say that about the, uh, Joaquin Phoenix one. And after watching that, I, I thought. You are. You lack good judgment if you took your kid to see that. 
Yeah. That uh, and also, what was it? Wait, sorry. Well, uh, another one was. It's not like DC or whatever. It's like Sausage Party. Was it? Oh, oh my god. That one. <laughs> Quick. I'm like, just because it's cartoons and all, like, doesn't mean it's just for kids. <laughs> Side, a uh, quick um, side story about that. Mm. The first time I saw it was in a group Zoom call with my friends, uh -huh. and we were we were watching it. We were laughing. If, if you guys haven't seen it, <laughs> um, either click away. If you're with your parents, <laughs> turn down the volume. <laughs> yeah. Um, then we got to the end. <laughs> After it was done, we were all just quiet, and then I was like, "So," <laughs> and then I, I was like, "I, I have to get a snack. <laughs> I, have to, I have to get a snack." And you clear your mind. I was like, <laughs> "One of our, one of my other friends said so." Am I hungry or turned on right now? <laughs> and I, I think that's an accurate de a description of for after that film. Yeah. Now the second topic is most hyped movie for 2022. Ooh. Okay. I don't have a specific one other than like, what was it, Spider-Man? That came out. Yeah. That one was a very hot one now, and I already watched it. I think it lived up to the hype. I'm not going to lie. I cried a, a like two or th three times d during that film. Mhm. Mm Same. I I hyperventilated <laughs> when. Can I? Uh, maybe a little spoiler. I'm pretty sure it's already known, but like Green Goblin when he comes oh, out, yeah. first time I was like, like ah, ah. Sorry, he was like a favorite like villain. I'm like, oh my god. Even if that film that doesn't win any awards, please, Willem Dafoe for best best portrayal, please. Mm -hmm. And it was also like I teared up when all three Spider Men were together. Oh yeah. <laughs> And they did their their poses on top of the section of the video. I'm like, ah! <laughs> What's sad is I follow a lot of channels so that cover like Marvel and stuff. Mm -hmm. I knew they were coming months before. So I, I was like, okay, are the leaks real <laughs> or are they not? Yeah. And, and so when they sh showed up, I just thought to myself, damn it. Because, yeah. <laughs> like, I part of me wanted them to not show up mm -hmm. so I could go on Twitter and, and just be like, you thought. <laughs> you thought you were doing something. Yeah. No, the one that spoiled it for me, obviously, was TikTok, but um, it was a guy explaining one of the scenes in the trailer. So, like, you only see, like, Tom Holland going against all the villains mm -hmm. but he pointed it out that some of the villains here were looking at a certain direction they weren't even yeah. looking at tom and then some other one was like looking at something else and not at tom so that means like there's other two other either spider-man or characters that were going to yeah. join him so i'm just like no why did i watch this <laughs> there was there was a another one of the lizard getting kicked by air mm. yeah that he was like that like yeah. Uh, gotta love social media. <sighs> love it and I hate it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but if anything, I am excited this year for the Marvel movies that are gonna come out, and um, I'm excited for the new um, Buzz Lightyear movie that's coming out. Oh yeah. I'm like ah. It, it's funny how you mentioned Buzz Lightyear in Marvel because <laughs> great man himself. Uh. What is with me in names today? <laughs> Captain America is voicing Buzz Lightyear. Mm-hmm. Chris Evans? Yes. 
Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I was like, ah. <laughs> I'm hyped for, um, obviously the Batman, just because mm -hmm. I want to see what, what it's like, <laughs> but also the next Doctor Strange film. Yes, I feel, have you watched them? Um, what if? All of the episodes. Yeah, 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 I think they're gonna go based on that one Doctor Strange episode. Yeah. And how he came to be. Because, like, when I watched the ending, obviously, the preview to the Doctor Strange movie, I'm like, this looks like that one episode of What If. I feel like they might go with that. <laughs> Same. And I, I, I swear, so, some of the channels I follow, mm -hmm. I love them, but I ha hate them. <laughs> Because again, the the leaks, the rumors. I'm like, some of you guys. There's just a part of me that's like, are you making this up? You're like, this sounds like a long stretch, but it's possible. <laughs> I would say things, but if it's true, then, <laughs> then it's it's a spoiler. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I think we're. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. That night. Basically, since I missed the first one in theaters, I want to see the acid trip that is Doctor Strange Two in theaters. <laughs> Take a little sip, sip <laughs> before watching. <laughs> if, if anyone, uh, this is a bad message. Oh. <laughs> if, if, if anyone actually does do acid, oh. if you do that, go see the film. Tell me how, how that was. In the big screen, like... <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> That'd be fun. Uh, <laughs> I don't do it, but... <laughs> That'd be an interesting I, trip. <laughs> I just know that there's someone out there who, act, who actually would. Uh, the second, uh, yeah, the second one is, will you see a, will you see your most hyped film in theaters? I think I will, because, um, well, obviously being safe with COVID and all, like, following that, um, but I hear, like, there's a lot of, like, not issues, well, yeah, kind of issues, like, with the online streaming and theater releases. Yeah. Because, like, I want to bring up, like, the Black Widow controversy, like, Oof. how, yeah, like, how they released the movie streaming when in her contract said not streaming because nothing would go to yeah. like her. So, um, like, if it, if it does come to that, like, and if it's a movie, like, that I really want to watch, yeah, I'll go to the theaters to watch it rather than streaming it at, on my TV because... There is like some movies already that I want to go watch, and I'm like, oh, either I can wait or I can just go. I'm just yeah. gonna go. And props to Scarlett Johansson for ha hand handling that like a queen. Mm hmm. And also props for being back in the yes. uh, in the MCU. There's I, no other Black Widow for me. <laughs> I I don't know how that works because. Her characters kind of now <laughs> unless they figure something out I, with, mm -hmm. with all this multiverse stuff that, that mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm thinking I'm thinking that last episode of what if <laughs> yeah I I told my friends like I it, I'm gonna have to have a whole wall of just Connecting all this multiverse stuff, it's gonna be so hard to keep track. It's like that one meme, it's like, you don't understand. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna figure something out. That's ev ev that's everyone trying to explain type for the Batman. Yeah. And the, the last one for the movie part, your favorite movie you've seen 
so far? So far, ah, oh, okay. Got it. I'm between two. <laughs> um, one, as I said, it was Spider Man. Mm -hmm. That one was um, a good one. But another one is um, Encanto for the oh, emotional damage. <laughs> I still have to see that. Ooh, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> emotional damage for me on that one. Uh, I think mine would be the newest um, Suicide Squad. Ooh. Just because I think having James Gunn as the director, perfect. I just watched that today. It was really good. <laughs> I want um, Margaret Robbie to have her own a uh, HBO Max show. Mm -hmm. So bad. It'll be so much fun. <laughs> and the second one, same as you, um, Spider Man. Mm hmm. If, if, even if it's just the nostalgia factor. Mm hmm. <sighs> I'm excited because they did um, introduce multiverses, so I'm hoping they cast and they bring in a Miles. Oh yeah. I'm like, please. That... <laughs> There's actually a thing going on about Miles in terms of mm -hmm. um, casting. Oh, casting? I meant like I, I saw like well, again TikTok like saying like oh they they might bring him in because so and so character mentioned him. And then with the movie, they're like, I thought you, like, you're from Brooklyn, blah, blah, I thought you were black. And I'm like, oh. I, all I'm going to say is, if they do bring in um, Will Smith's son Ooh. As, as him, mm -hmm. one, people are going to be upset because they don't think he, he, he can act. Yeah. <laughs> Two... I just want to see the, the chaos. <laughs> I just want to see the chaos. And the last one that... Um, I'm going to have to watch how I... <laughs> how I speak, but... Uh, our last topic is how to deal with toxic people. Now, because of where I was in uh, Ohio and in Georgia, I do know, I did know some toxic people, dated a couple. <laughs> I know a couple myself. <laughs> the first what one is, have you dealt with toxic people before? Mm-hmm. I have. Oh, the stories I have. Oh, same. <laughs> one of them, uh, from the span of 2014, either 2014 or 2015, to oh. 2020, Toxic ass relationship. Oh. I'm not going to get into it because that would be a whole podcast in and of itself. Yeah. But yeah. Ghosting, emotional abuse, oh. which is kind of the same thing. Yeah, yeah. And, uh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and many more. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. It's. It's tiring. It sucks that we find people like that and it's sad because like, I don't know, like, <laughs> I'm like, how do you live with yourself <laughs> knowing you're doing all of this? Cause like, do you like ever think about other people other than yourself, like what your actions do or affect others 
was just like, <laughs> I, I, I now have a newfound love for certain um, Taylor Swift songs. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> I agree. Oh, I relate. Yeah. <laughs> and oddly enough, um, Toxic by Britney Spears. Mm. I'm thinking of Toxicity. <laughs> By is it system of a down? <laughs> I feel like the next one is kind of an objective one. Like, have you been the toxic person? As in, like, have you had to be toxic to get a t toxic person out? Hmm. I don't have ever been a toxic person. Mm. I don't know how to say like I've been the toxic person. I had to like really almost be like the stronger person into taking um, a toxic person out. Like I had to be very um, how do I say it? Like, mm, either more mature or more like stronger yeah. than them. Because either I had to like just say what was in my mind at that point, uh, not holding myself back and saying stuff, or like talking to other people, trying to show them like the reason, like even though, hey, like the truth hurts, like. This is my Ooh, opinion yeah. on this certain person. I'm telling you now, but again, it's up to that person to decide whether or not they want to see it as well. And I can also always just push so far that I'm like, you know what? You do you. If you don't want to listen to me about this, if you don't want to change, um, then count me out just because I'm yeah. not dealing with this. I don't want to spend my time and energy on this. Like, I'd rather take a nap <laughs> than deal with you. Same. Uh, the only time I can think that was actually toxic and not like benefit for my own good toxic <laughs> was a a a anyone who has um, depression. That, sh that, that shit can make you toxic as hell. So, yeah. Early teen years. Woo! Yeah, no. I, I, I feel like... If TikTok was a thing... <laughs> oh, that would be much worse. Oh, God. I don't know. I can say only so far also, like, but then again, I'm like, I don't know. Obviously, people had different views on me, of me, about me. So I I think I'm not toxic, but I don't know if in someone else's eyes I am. But. Well, I can say from my, <laughs> you're not. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, but I feel like, yeah, like, pre-teen years, maybe teenage because I didn't know better. Yeah. But like growing up, like, yeah, I could have said some things, but like, we're all learning as we go. But the thing is also to grow as we learn. But if you're still stuck in your ways, like, for like the longest and you're not advancing, then that's really on you. And if you look back and like see everyone that you lost and now like taking in the advice that people have told you for so long, like, it kind of sucks. <laughs> mm -hmm. Con considering how many people I I've seen in Gina's chat, <laughs> and more recently, um, Pokemon's chat, I am a fucking saint. <laughs> mm, same. <laughs> I'm a holy. <laughs> the, yeah, no. The last one that I think. 
is easy and hard to answer tips for leaving a toxic person oh <laughs> i feel like it again it depends on the person and the situation and oh, yeah. for how long you've known that person because Sometimes you are comfortable with someone that okay. This is all in my opinion. I don't know if, like it it goes with everyone else, but like sometimes you're too comfortable with that person to not see the toxicity. So you can just say like, oh no, that's just how they are. And if a third person comes in and be like, nah, that's either gaslighting. Nah, that ain't right. Like, and you're like, no, you just don't understand them. I'm like, oh god, <laughs> I'm like. Mm. I don't know, at least be a decent human being. And that does not seem like a decent human being action or something like that. It's just like, yeah. oh. This is the first time that I don't mind being called out. Oh. <laughs> like, like the, that was me during my last relationship. Mm. It's like, when you're caught up in the feelings and the whys, Mm -hmm. Perspective, just yeah. I I'm like I know some people in relationships that when I look at it, I'm just like, I it's, I don't think that's normal. Um, why or why is this going on? But they're like, no. Yeah. And then like the, I get mad sometimes because like there's kids like, well. Oh, like you don't know like blah blah like i'm like yeah i don't i haven't been a racist but i've seen so many that i'm just like mm. so yeah and i i can say in terms of like uh if they seem like if the communication and being on the same level starts out good but then it just wavers mm -hmm. Maybe ask a friend if that's normal, mm -hmm. and, and and if they say, "Nah, sis, leave." You you should think about most, it more. Like <laughs> most most of the time, that's 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 not them being jealous. That's them looking out for your own good. Yeah. Let's say how many friends <laughs> I told them stuff. They're. <laughs> Yeah, nah. <laughs> I'm just thinking of some friends or not. I can't really say anything. Yeah, yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, it's a these. I have to ask permission first. Um, but it's yeah. it's sad when you try hard to to tell. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> it's so I. Okay, so mm, I mean, this is already past. Okay, so I have like a story. But like, um, I have a friend, um, this was back in high school, so it's like a past thing, but um, I have a friend and like she wanted to go out with this one guy and stuff like that, but she would tell me all this drama that was going on with that guy even before the relationship, so I'm just like, oh, okay, and then she was like, yeah, blah, 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 and then like, it was like one also, he was like part of like an on and off relationship with some girl also. Yeah, but she was like, no, but like, he says that, like, if he's with me, and it was just a whole lot of, like, stuff going on, I don't want to say much, <laughs> but, um, so I ended up just saying, I'm like, you know what, like, I can only, as a best friend, um, I can only say certain stuff, uh, but truth be told, you know what, I'm just saying it straight out, like, as a, as your friend, I'm happy you found someone, but I don't like this person for you. Like, I straight up don't like him. I don't think this is good, but like, I also want your happiness. So if you want to go for it, just go for it. But he not heed my warning, but heed my, yeah, warning. Yeah. I don't want to say warning. Like, um, you know, we're going to get yourself into like, it's not going to be a easy relationship, especially with all this. <laughs> Yeah. Me. So, yeah, it ended up going bad and all that stuff, but... Um, <laughs> here's another red flag. If they say that they want your, your guys' relationship to be like Joker and 
Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn. Oh god. And Bonnie or Clyde. Like. Yeah. Just abuse, gaslighting, and trauma. Healthy. <laughs> uh, I feel like K drama relationships are more healthy, and that's just completely fiction. Yep. <laughs> but man, they, they make for great content. Oh, uh, they do. <laughs> well, before we get more into the feels, <laughs> that, that's going to be the end of this episode. Already? Wow. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to trim my um, <laughs> my e episodes down, or else it's gonna be like an hour and a half. Oh wow! But these are fun topics. <laughs> oh yeah. Again, the 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 trauma, the toxic one. Oh yeah. Be a way longer one. <laughs> it it's amazing how, as a kid, you're listening to all these songs about toxic relationships <laughs> and you're just jamming as an adult we are like <laughs> well th thanks for joining <laughs> me again diana yeah thank you for having me again if you guys want to listen to this two or three days early or whenever i up, up actually upload it join my patreon So if I forget to upload it, which I, uh, knowing me, I probably will. Don't worry, I'll remind him. <laughs> uh, let me know what you guys want to hear next. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.